Hello, my name is I King Sky. So we're back with another video, and Braun Strowman, of all people, has returned to the WWE. Um, I don't know what this episode of SmackDown really was. <laughs> this episode of SmackDown was uh quite boring to say the least. I mean, it started off good, Bianca Belair with the match, and then she had this like weird promo. Like, I I guess it was cool, but just seeing her like be uh, trying to force herself to be a baby face isn't really the look you want on somebody like bianca belair but nonetheless braun Strowman has returned that's what this was what this is that's what this video is about braun Strowman returning it's not like a car engine braun Strowman returning and one of the most confusing main events because everybody was just coming out of the, out of nowhere like a it was like when you play WWE with your siblings and then you just keep bringing people out or you just keep bringing people out and saying like this person came out, this person came out to save you from getting your your ass kicked. But that that's how it feels. Sheamus came out. A lot of people just came out for no Big E came out and then it just turned into like a, a four Survivor Series 2016 SmackDown versus Raw match completely out of nowhere and then Braun Strowman returns um I knew something big was going to happen but Braun Strowman returning was just such a letdown who cares honestly I we don't care about Braun Strowman if you if you haven't noticed that Vince he you ruined him when you made him a, a dummy with the money in the bank that's that's when you ruined him so we don't care about him anymore we didn't care about him when he had the championship when he was playing the fiend when he was fighting the fiend we don't care. We do not care. I promise you, I don't care. Anyway, SmackDown was confusing. This this was probably one of the most like average, not even average. It was definitely below average SmackDowns that we've had in a long, long time. Like there's really nothing that really happened. And Roman Reigns, he had a cool promo, but without him being in the ring and having his presence, it's not like you can't say he saved it because he was on fucking what you call it. We didn't see him. I mean, SmackDown was below average. Braun Strowman returns. Who cares? Uh, Bianca Belair, I hope she wins the Rumble. I really do. For the Men's Royal Rumble, I have no idea who's winning that. And, bro, I swear, wouldn't it have been cool if... I know I'm getting off topic, but wouldn't it have been cool if The Miz cashed in his money in the bank on Big E tonight and then Big E won the Royal Rumble? That's what I thought was going to happen when they came out. But, of course, Vince McMahon doesn't see shit. So... It just went through his brain, never went, probably never went through his brain. Somebody probably said something in the back to him, like, we should have the Miz cash in, you know, and then maybe Big E wins the Royal No, no, it just doesn't happen. So Big E obviously isn't winning the fucking, the Royal Rumble. So, um, unless they, they go to the route where he wins the Royal Rumble and he loses it. I'm getting off topic. If you want more of these topics, um, like and subscribe and watch my latest videos, man. Like and subscribe and thanks for watching.